Hello YouTubers, and today I am finally reviewing this, which is the 14th Doctor online exclusive Sonic Screwdriver. So, yeah, finally it came, DHL just delivered it uh, today after several delays, and before I get into this review, if you have had uh, emails like I have from uh, DHL or other um, companies saying, oh, we've got the package, now we've lost the package, now it's delayed, it's like, you know, it'll come eventually, it should come eventually, and if not, I will contact character, because still to this day, I have not received a confirmation email from them. I probably will in the next few days or something, but anyway. And also, worth noting, these are going to be restocked, and I don't just mean this, you know, this version, I mean this exact version, the Chrome version, so, yeah, if you haven't got one yet, just, you know, Weeks, weeks it helps or just by the standard edition anyway let's get on to the review of this and this sonic screwdriver unlike the whisker one i do actually really like this design i do like this design a lot and it is a combination of uh, several different sonic screwdrivers so obviously at the bottom here it's kind of a bit, the very, very end bit here is a bit like the 12th Doctor's sonic screwdriver. And then this section here, to be honest, it reminds me more of the Master's laser screwdriver uh, than anything else. Especially the fact that, you know, it twists like that, just like uh, the Master's laser screwdriver. Then this section is basically... the Max Smith's screwdriver there with the handle piece there. Although, to be honest, um, you... Obviously with this you don't hold it like that, you hold it more like this. And then we've got this which is the sort of crackle bits. You can see there, I've just noticed where the two bits join. There, there's a bit of a seam line going on there. Which is a bit irritating because the rest of it is pretty nice. But there is a bit of a seam line. I don't know if this is just my one or what. But uh, yeah, there is a bit of a, a seam line in that on there. But the crackle... This time has actually been printed on as opposed to on previous releases where it was actually part of the moulding. Which, yeah, I do prefer this is more accurate to the actual prop. And then this massive emit uh, section and that here. Which, to be honest, um, although there's bits that are maybe reminiscent of the Max Smith and maybe to a lesser degree Capaldi Sonic and this section... Uh, here in the middle definitely reminds me of the helix of the 10th Doctor's Sonic. To be honest, when it's closed like this, it reminds me most of uh, a Dalek gun, actually. It reminds me the most of that. But uh, as you can see, we've got a slider here, which is also the activation button. You can see I've got it set to green, and uh, I'll tell you why in a minute. So, yeah, this Sonic is actually really nice, and is pretty damn accurate to the prop. And also, unlike the Whitaker one, which was accurate to the prop, but felt like it was made of literally pound-glang plastic, this actually does feel a lot more solid and a lot more sturdy than the previous one. It does actually feel like, you know, this could... Well, I wouldn't want to give it a beating, but it feels like it could maybe take, well, maybe less so, uh, the claws. But, uh, yeah, it is nice that, you know, it does actually have the, an actual manual sliding action rather than just, uh, you know, the pop-up action activated by a too powerful spring for it. And also that the fact that the button is the slider as well. The button is on the slider, so you can do it like the actual prop does it. Hooray! But, the chrome finish, now this is a really nice finish to it, it does look really nice and I do really like it, and this is the only thing, this chrome finish here and the chrome finish on the rest here, this is what makes it the online exclusive, which I'll go into the packaging into later, but that's the only thing that makes this actually an online exclusive, there will be a regular retail version, uh, which will just have, you know, the general sort of uh, silver finish, which technically is actually more accurate to the prop because the prop does not have a chrome finish. If you want to take a look at what the actual prop basically looks like, I'd say look at the Roboto replica pictures because those are generally the best we actually see of this Sonic. Now, this Sonic does obviously have light and sound effects, as you can hear. Now, the actual prop does also have four lights, one in each claw here. 
Now, whether that is actual LEDs or fiber optics, I don't know. But uh, since this is chrome, I don't know if this would work as well uh, with the standard edition, but because it is chrome and very reflective, it actually does look like they glow because of the of uh, the reflection in the chrome. So they do kind of get away with it, that not having the lights in there because of the lights in this section reflecting off there, making it look like kicks. And it does look pretty good in the dark. The only problem with it is, is because of uh, the minimal amount of LEDs, it's got basically an LED that is here, which is also pointing up that way. The LED at the end is not particularly bright, particularly side on. Front on, it's actually not too bad. And the reason is, is because the plastic at the end of it is slightly magnifying the light on the LED. So it makes it look a little bit brighter than it is. You can see here, it's currently in the green setting, which I think was only got the wrong sound. Yeah, so the multi-changing sounds and colours, apart from the original blue setting, the other settings only have the one sound effect. Now, when this was initially, you know, teased and everything, there it was no mention of the different lights. Or really sound effects. And we'll take a look at the packaging. So I did buy a second one to keep sealed. And uh, unfortunately... There is nothing really protecting uh, the screwdriver itself. It is literally held in here by these two little plastic wires, which uh, are very easy to snip. And then the Sonic literally just comes out. So, yeah, I do quite like the design of the packaging, though. It's the same design motif as uh, the Regeneration 13th Doctor Sex. You can see the regeneration effect in the background. And also we've got some information about the toy in it here. It makes it look really plastically, plastic, plasticky on that render. It looks like uh, that bit's unpainted. Again, uh, uh, the actual thing, I don't, I don't think the actual one will have this shiny finish on there either. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's what the non-shiny version looks like. Which, yeah, apart from the end cap, that bit is technically more accurate to the prop. So that is basically what the non-chrome version is going to look like so yeah when that is coming out i don't know but again this is the online exclusive version we've got battery information and that's on the back here to change the batteries although as far as i'm aware it's the same button cell batteries that basically all of the sonic screwdrivers have ever used it's also printed in that on here as well with some information on that so yeah um now the good news now, the problem with this packaging is, is that some people have been reporting that their sonic screwdrivers, the chrome has been scratched. Yeah, some people are reporting that the chrome's been scratched or the boxes have been damaged. Uh, I've been pretty lucky with mine that uh, neither one of them were damaged. Although, seeing that, I was uh, relieved because... Uh, which box was it? I think it was this one. Yeah, if I just get the box here, you can see here it was a bit crushed when I got it. So, yeah, because it is literally just going to plain cardboard box. So, mm, it's a little bit nerve-wracking there. I mean, obviously, in a store, you're able to see them and that in person. And if you're at Comic-Con, you're able to see them in person. Online, not so much. And character do not have a very good history of a good customer service. In fact, they have a history of bad customer service. There was the whole debacle uh, with the second Doctor Tardises, where basically people were getting ones that were damaged and character were basically telling them to go fuck themselves. So, yeah, that is always, you know, a bit of an issue. Yeah. Now, these do retail for £30 on character's website, although the advantage of that is it's free delivery. And that thinks you're spending over £25. And obviously a lot of the price has gone into the chrome finish. Which does really work for the end bit to make it more accurate. This is technically less accurate but I still do really love it. Now, nowhere does it advertise the different lights and sound effects. Which is another Alduarism. It's another one of his Alduarisms. Which, where you've got a really cool feature but you keep it completely hidden. Not even hinting to it. Uh, a prime example off the top of my head is the Daleks uh, from Planet of the Daleks that were released at B&M that had the flip open tops, which, yeah, that was a that was a cool feature, 
that was a cool feature to have on them, which, yeah, was not advertised. It's like, you know, I know everyone was excited for this enough anyway, but still, you know, could have advertised it, could have advertised it. That's a unique selling point, and the fact that there's no information on the box on how to do this meant that basically people had to discover it themselves and how to change the colour. So, as I said, at the moment, this is in the green setting, which is the hardest setting to get to. And the reason is, is basically if you twist this, take the end cap off like that. So thankfully on this one, no visible battery compartment. And that's with the cap on. And you can see here, single screw there to just take the batteries out and remove them. And you can press a screwdriver or a pin or something through the end of there to push the batteries out. On the bottom here, there is a button. And what you do is you hold this button along with the activation button. And depending on how long you hold it for, is what sound effect you'll get. So if we hold it for, say, a second. One, two, three. Yeah, so if we hold it for three seconds. This is the regular mode. Which, as you can see, it's a very, very pale blue. It's actually looking almost white on camera. Which, uh, this is, some, for some reason, a lot quieter than uh, the other sound effects. I don't know why. But it does give us a nice look at it. Now, this is the only mode where pressing the activation button multiple times will give you different sound effects. And I'm going to put uh, the Sonic up to the microphone so you can hear them better. You can see in this mode as well that we actually have uh, different lights flickering in that as well with this. That sound effect only goes off once every so often. As you can see the different lights and you can see some of the green LEDs are also shining if excusing focus. I believe that is all of them. Let's press it as many times as possible. And I believe I've done all of them. If I've missed one out, uh, apologies. I'm trying to remember all of the sound effects since there's no bloody list on the box or anything about how many there are, how to operate them. Anyway, uh, let's... One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. So this is the red setting, which is my favourite. As you can see, no matter how many times you press this button, the sound effect will not change. The sound effect only changes in the original blue setting. In the other settings, yeah, you can press that button as many times as you like. That sound effect is not going to change. Though for some reason in these other modes, it is a good deal louder. Rest in peace, headphone users. But yeah, I do really like the, the red setting, and I... I think it does look the best. And then finally the yellow setting, which is one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Ooh, I axe. That's another problem. If you accident the problem is this button is difficult to press half the time, and sometimes you might not realise like I just did, you accidentally let it go and it just goes into setting one. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Nope, that's red. One, mm, mm. Yeah. One, two, three. Can you see how this is difficult to change the sound effects? I am trying desperately hard to try and get it into the yellow mode. One, two, three. Okay, finally. The yellow setting. Sometimes I've noticed as well, this claw can get a little bit stuck. But 
But yeah, the blue and the red are the easiest settings to get to because one is literally just one press and hold and the others basically hold it for, for I think, five or six seconds. But the green and the yellow, a bit more difficult. I think, basically, the problem is, is that you've got this dial here. And it's just like, why not use the bloody dial? Because the dial doesn't do anything on the Sonic. If it was the case where, basically you were twisting the dial and every time you twisted the dial it pressed the button on the inside then it would be a lot easier to operate because then for one you wouldn't have to keep taking the end cap off every time you wanted to change the lights and the sound effects and also it would feel more like you're operating the actual sonic screwdriver itself but if you are going to have this system where you have to take off the end cap the holding down the button for several seconds it's just a bit of a pain in the ass. I would much rather it be a case of you press it several times to just cycle through. Either press it once to cycle through each sound effect or press it multiple times. Because it's much easier to count and press it multiple times than it is to press and hold in hope. Or just have it be that you press the slider several times even. Like uh, with the Capaldi one. So yeah, while I do like having the different sound effects... It is a bloody pain in the ass to take the end cap off every time you want to change it. Hold down the button on the slider. Count to however long. And for some reason it always seems to default back to that. It just makes it bloody irritating. I'll keep it at red because I like it at red. Also these are demo batteries that are included. The reason they legally put that in there is because you might get one like this one. Oh! This one wasn't operating a second ago. This one actually does have battery in it, okay. Yeah, that one wasn't working uh, when I initially got it. But, uh, yeah. But, overall, though, what do I think? Well, I really do love this Sonic screwdriver. I really do. It is definitely much more comfortable uh, to hold as well. It's very... It is probably the chunkiest uh, Sonic screwdriver out of the lot of them. Uh, just to do a quick size comparison. Um... This is the only Sonic screwdriver I literally have to hand at the minute because the rest are boxed up. So yeah, this is a War Doctor Sonic compared to it. Alright. I think the reason this one doesn't seem as big as it actually is is because obviously it's a bit chunkier, I think, as well. But yeah, I do really like the Sonic and I do recommend it. And I don't mind paying... The extra money when I can clearly see, you know, this is an excellent, you know, toy replica, I guess. So, yeah, I'd say definitely pick pick this one up. And But, I will say, do not pay bloody ridiculous eBay prices. Like, honestly, you are much better off if you dig one, if you dig somehow are watching this video at a later date and, you, and this is completely sold out now then just get the retail version and paint it chrome yourself because you are much cheaper and much better off doing that than you will be with this but 30 pounds yeah 30 pounds is probably about the limits i'd say for this like if it was any more than i'd say you know you're really pushing it but considering how prices and that have gone yeah uh go get it people just go get it